Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain Robert Stevenson. Today, chums, for this cup of tea episode of Cup of Tea with Captain Steve, I've got myself a lovely English brew. And what am I bringing to you? I'm bringing Starfield, if you haven't noticed. It's, it's in the background of the freaking video, so I've, I think you probably already gathered that's what I'm going to be covering off. But it's not so much the things that I'm excited for. This is some of the observations that I've had while watching this video and looking at tech spec and things like that for the game. So I don't know whether it's going to have ray tracing or, or effects. It's like that shiny kettle in the background there. I think that's just a texture with shaders on. Another thing that I want to talk about is water. Look, you see this planet here? Here, apparently it's got radioactive water people what happens when you go down to the planet and you go over to one of these radioactive lakes can you go in it will the re radiation kill you can you have radiation protection to, to help you or can you not go in the water at all I mean this one here and that said water is safe and there's another one that says water is safe as well so does that mean that we can dive into the oceans is there going to be fauna inside of the oceans and flora inside of the oceans? Because when I'm seeing the flora and fauna count for these planets, I don't think I've seen it in double digits yet. They've all been like three, four and five. I don't think I've seen even the, the flora go up into double digits. So does that mean that it's going to be quite limited? Are a lot of the assets going to be copy and pasted? Is there going to be a lot of variety? The kind of variety that we've got used to playing games like No Man's Sky. I mean, the creatures look fantastic. I mean, this planet here, look at that. That planet is mainly water. That planet's mainly water. So I'd imagine, I'd like to hope, that it's probably got more water fauna and flora than land fauna and flora. And you can see there it says water is safe yet again. And as they're landing, you can see that there is a lake right by. Look, there's a lake right there. It's hard to say if the textures are going to be any good on that water, whether it's going to look realistic at all. But later on inside of this video, you do see people chilling by a beach and there seems to be some sort of water texture. But it doesn't look all that great when it comes to an ocean. It doesn't look like lapping waves. It's a bit janky, to be fair. So I'm just wondering, is there going to be rivers, waterfalls, lakes? on planet surfaces or is it only going to be in scripted places like round by great atlantis or other sorts of buildings i mean here that there's a lily pond as well inside of this city that i've seen as they're flying down in a cutscene or some sort of aerial swoop over but when you see these gaping giant vistas in none of the giant rolling vistas am i seeing anything that looks like a river a waterfall or a lake there's one part where i've seen a lake where there's some creatures walking around by it but behind it is a city so again, I don't know whether it's some sort of cut scene and whether that lake just appears by a city. Yeah, so that's one of my concerns. I know it's only a small concern. However, oceans on planets that have mainly water, you would like to hope that we can investigate or at least do some exploration or even find an underwater city. I mean, you can see here there's a giant freaking boat behind us. So what is travel across water like inside of this game we know that there's no flight orbit so we know we can't just fly over swathes of ocean lakes and rivers so how do you traverse across lakes rivers and so forth or is that not a thing yeah and there's another boat over there as well i just spotted in the background too but yeah that's one of the questions that i have people Another one of the observations and questions that I have is towards the end where he puts his hand up and it looks like he's got magical abilities, almost like they're going to be using the force inside of this game. Oh, look, you can see the desk here. Loads of reflection. It didn't have the people reflections in the desk. So I think it's just got shaders to re reflect what's happening inside of there when it comes to structure. But none of the characters have got reflections. I can see that the shadows, though, the shadows go on everything. But even when he was walking past that plate glass and no reflection of him was cast on the actual glass. I don't think this game is going to have ray tracing or ray tracing support at launch. I don't know whether that might change, but it's like even like the, the visor there. You can't see the reflection of the guy that he's talking to and things like that. There's just little things that I've noticed watching this back. And I'm thinking, what? what? I mean, look, where's, where's the oceans? Where's the rivers? And, I, and I'm not seeing them apart from in just one or two little clips, which I, I would have put next to me during this video over this way. Yeah, you would have seen them there at some point. But I am liking the fact that you're seeing other things like creature interactions where they're munching each other. Look, there you go. There's the lily pad pond just there. Yeah, the lily pad pond that I mentioned earlier on. So, yeah, I know it's a bit of a weird thing to sound off on. 
But at the same time, it's, and then you can see the reflections on the desk there. You can see the people yet again. So yeah, just little things. Is there going to be ray tracing? What the water? What is the water going to be like? Is there underwater sort of travel? Um, we know that there's no light flight travel. They've already confirmed that. There you go. That's the lake that I was on about. But look, it's right by a freaking giant city yet again. So I don't know, people. And there's a couple of little things to me that I, I still need answers to. I haven't seen. I mean, they're not game breakers. This game still looks freaking immense. It still looks amazing. It's just if we've got swathes and swathes of open landscape, when we know that we've landed on a planet that has lakes and swathes of water, if we don't get to see that water or swathes of water or rivers or something, it takes away from that level of immersion is where I'm going with this. And to see that there's only like, what, six creatures on the planet and you're going to be a beast hunter if you've got the skill for beast hunting. I mean, some of these beasts look freaking amazing. But some of the biggest creatures on our planet are in the oceans. And some of the craziest, deadliest creatures are in the oceans. And some of the most beautifulest creatures are in the oceans. So what I'm saying is, if we can't see space alien aquatic life, then that's, that's, that's an opportunity missed. And you could see there were some water effects then inside that city that almost looked like waterfall -y type things cascading down. I don't think there's going to be waterfalls out in the wilds, not procedurally generated. I mean, we haven't got them in No Man's Sky, and we haven't got them in No Man's Sky for probably good reason. It's pretty hard to procedurally generate waterfalls into the game. However, you know, when they were talking about missions inside of this game, that they spawn in, and it's quite unique to the actual person, that when it spawns in, almost like a procedural dungeon in a way, it spawns in some sort of event. It could spawn in a freaking mountain with a blanking waterfall on it with a blanking lake, couldn't it? And maybe have some sort of giant fawn or interaction that way there are ways and means that they could do this and put it into game rather than spawn in a building spawn in some terrain with a waterfall on it you know what i'm saying but yeah i am impressed with everything that i'm seeing i've just got a few it's things that we haven't seen things that we haven't seen and i know that they've put out 45 minutes worth of footage so the things we haven't seen may be very small and probably not even worth a mention but for me it look there we go there's that there, there was uh, the beach scene there and that did not look like ocean waves did it it didn't it honestly didn't so let's just see what they put in when it comes to water but that's one of my concerns i know it's a stupid one but what do you guys think is it a stupid concern or would you really like to be able to dive, deep dive into oceans and find aquatic fauna and aquatic life and things like that another another one of my concerns is a lot of the actual flora that we're seeing on planets looks very earthbound you know the creatures some of the creatures we've seen look very alien Yet some of the plant life we're seeing looks just like that of the flora that we have on our own planet. And I have seen a couple of planets where it looks a little bit more alien, but it looks like a vast majority of the planets look very earthbound. And it looks like they've used like assets that you would see in other games from Bethesda and other games made in maybe, say, Unreal or something like that, or Unity. They look like borrowed assets on some of the planets or assets that have been just ripped out of one game and put into another but anyways that's just one of my other niggles so there are a few little tiny little teeny teeny tiny little niggles that i'm seeing anyway if you've got any niggles sound off in the comments let them know what your niggles are you know anyway take care goodbye goodbye and goodbye again